The vinyl tile was cut into the same size and shape of the shoes inside. The Taser Electric Transducer was positioned on the cut material such that it is located at the center which is the sole. After, the transducer was traced by a mark. Using a compass, a circle was drawn inside a transducer cut. This smaller circle was then cut using an electric drill. To prevent the discs from snapping off, Jogging motion are as follows. Users with body weights under 41 to 45 kilograms yielded the following amounts 0, 0 0.05, 0 0.02, 0 0.01, and 0 0.05. For the body weight range 46 to 50 kilograms, the electricity generated were 0 0.04, 0, 0, 0, and 0 0.01. Users with body weights under 51 to 55 kilograms generated the following voltages 2.0, 0 0.73, 1, 0 0.16, and 1.7. After treating the data with Welch ANOVA, it can be determined that the users with higher weights produce higher electricity when executing the jogging motion using the piezoelectric shoes. Meanwhile, the amounts of electricity yielded in walking motion are as follows. The users with body weights under 41 to 45 kilograms yielded the following amounts. 0 0.22, 0, 0 0.56, 2.74, 0 0.05. For the body weight range 46 to 50 kilograms, the electricity generated were 0 0.11, 0 0.34, 0 0.06, 0 0.05, and 0 0.01. Users with body weights under 51 to 55 kilograms generated the following voltages 0 0.19, 0 0.20, 0 0.20, 0 0.20, and 0 0.19. When used while walking, the same amount of electricity can be produced even if the users have different weights. Whether the user is heavy or not, the electricity generated by the shoe when walking does not vary. Moreover, while using the shoe in stationary, the amounts of electricity yielded are as follows. The users with body weights under 41 to 45 kilograms yielded the following amounts. 0 0.19, 0 0.15, 0 0.56, 0 0.27, and 0 0.01. For the body weight range 46 to 50 kilograms, the electricity generated were 
0.01 Users with body weights under 51 to 55 kilograms generated the following voltages 0 0.01, 0, 0 0.03, 0 0.03, and 0 0.05 Reducing the shoe is stationary, the amount of electricity produced is the same regardless of the weight. When used while executing different types of human motions, the shoe generated the following amounts of electricity. While jogging, the use of its weights under 41 to 45 kilograms generated an average of 0.026 volts. 46 to 50 kilograms produced 0.01 volts, and body weight ranges 51 to 55 kilograms yielded 0.992 volts. While walking, the use of its weights under 41 to 45 kilograms generated an average of 0.714 volts. 46 to 50 kilograms produced 0.114 volts, and body weight range 51 to 55 kilograms yielded 0.196 volts. And while using it in a stationary, the shoe used by users with weights under 40 and 45 kilograms generated an average of 0 0.139 volts. 46 to 50 kilograms produced 0 0.196 volts. And body weight ranges 51 to 55 yielded 0.024 volts. Also, while using the piezoelectric shoes while executing the different types of motions, the same amount of electricity can be produced. Whether the user jogs, walks, or stands, the electricity generated does not vary.